Forget about the feedback sandwich. What is a feedback sandwich, also known as a compliment sandwich? For a demonstration, let's turn to the popular animated sitcom Family Guy. In this scene, Stewie is reviewing Brian's performance and it's worth watching. Brian, thanks for showing up so promptly for your quarterly evaluation. Now then, I'm going to do something I call the compliment sandwich, where I say something good, then talk about where you need improvement, and then end with something good. Whatever you gotta do. Okay, um, uh, let's see, something good, something good, something good. You look like Snoopy and it makes me smile. Where you need improvement. You have smelly dog farts. Something good, something good. Oh, uh, you really dazzled that rep from the Cincinnati office last week. That is sensational. You really made me feel confident about those numbers. Listen, if you're ever looking for a change of scenery, we could sure use a fellow like you in Cincinnati. That was you in disguise. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Fine, it wasn't. Ha! It was! I guess you could see what's wrong with the feedback sandwich. It's not <clears throat> honest and it's not <clears throat> effective. It's not honest because you actually just want to tell the other person the middle part, the criticism. So why is the compliment needed at all? To soften the blow. If you ask people, why do you like the feedback sandwich method? Very often they say, because I want to protect the other person's feelings. Research shows that actually they want to protect themselves. By sugarcoating, they want to minimize the discomfort that comes from giving someone negative feedback. I really get it, ladies and gentlemen. I really get why you use this first positive comment. You want to establish trust, you want to signal good intention. But this is the wrong way to do that. Because it's fake and it will backfire. Instead, what I suggest you to do is try to put yourself in others' shoes and make them feel that you're able to see the world through their eyes. If you do that, probably it takes more effort, I know, but that's going to be real empathy and it creates real trust and the other person will then open up to your constructive criticism. So it's not honest, as we could see. Yeah, remember the flipping through the notes, something good, something good, something good. Yeah, so it's, it's not honest. And it's also not effective. Studies show that when people are given feedback in this way, they are not very likely to change their behavior. Why? One of the reasons can be that they don't take the message seriously enough. Sugar coating can really kill the seriousness of your criticism, they might think, oh, it's just, a, it's just a light criticism, I don't have to take it seriously. Or another thing, if you always start with a compliment, the other person will get used to it. They will see through it so easily that you tell a compliment, you praise them, and they are not gonna believe that. They are going to think to themselves, okay, I'm bracing myself for the upcoming criticism. So forget about the feedback sandwich. How to give negative feedback. I made a video already on this subject. You'll find the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the tips, please use them. Your partners, loved ones, coworkers will be very, very grateful for your honesty. Thank you and see you next time.